I think I said to you earlier that I'm a lot less certain uh, about um, any nutritional endpoint than I was when I was doing this for five or 10 or 15 years. Was there a moment that changed it for you? There certainly was um, a, a moment in my decision to no longer accept observational studies as being really important. That, Tell me. Well, th this was the um, 2009, the NIH AH AARP study, American Association for Retired Persons, more than a half a million people, more than 70,000 deaths recorded. And the population was divided into men and women, into red meat eaters and white meat eaters by into five different levels of intake. And so there were tables and tables that you had to wade through. And I basically summarized these in a couple of publications and put it in, into a graph that made it easy to, to interpret it. So it's not exactly matching the average in the tables, but it's very close. And the red meat eaters all had significantly increased uh, deaths from heart disease, total mortality, deaths from cancer, deaths from accidents, and deaths from all other causes.